Polly Perrette has just revealed that she had gone through a major health scare. On September 2nd, the NCIS actress took to Twitter to candidly reveal that she suffered a stroke one year ago. In the tweet, she also opened up about other life struggles that she's been through, saying that she has cheated death multiple times. Our prayers are with her. So keep watching to learn more about her health concerns. First up, how did she have a stroke? For 15 seasons, the talented actress portrayed the adored Abby Shuto in NCIS for 15 years, a forensic scientist helping her team solve crimes at Washington Navy Yard. Perrette left the action fiction drama in 2018 after announcing her departure a year before. She is still in touch with her beloved fans on social media. Recently, she took to Twitter to commemorate the first anniversary of her stroke. She also posted a very personal selfie video where she detailed her life struggles. She opened up about the various times that she's gone through scary situations, yet she's still here. In the video, she revealed that she nearly died of a hair dye allergic reaction. She is a survivor of rape and domestic violence. Not only that, but she was assaulted by a crazy homeless person who also threatened to kill her. She also has food allergies. At the end of her tweet, she expressed her gratitude and stated that she's full of faith. She also lost several family members and friends last year, as well as her father, to COVID last year. We can't even imagine how she managed to go through such devastating events, adding to her struggles. Moving on, what exactly happened? With hopes of raising awareness, she sat down for an interview with ET's Kevin Frazier. The actress reminisced about the most critical day of her life. When she woke up, the entire right side of her body was completely numb. At first, she suspected that she just slept funny. Then, she called her doctor and kept realizing how bad the numbness was becoming. Hearing this, the doctor advised her to go to the emergency room immediately. She remembers that she couldn't feel her fingers touching her face, nor could she feel her face being touched by her fingers. She couldn't even feel her laptop placed on her lap. She couldn't feel anything on the right side of her body. Perrette also added that she could have burned her finger or cut it off and she wouldn't even know about it. That's how numb she felt. What a truly terrifying experience. She confessed that she felt hesitant to listen to her doctor's advice, so she informed the doctor that she intended to seek a second opinion from her therapist, who's also a neurologist, at their appointment later that day. The doctor told Perrette that he thought her therapist would also advise going to the emergency department if she survived until 5 o'clock, which he doubted would happen. That's exactly where she went, and chaos erupted in the emergency room. Coming up, she got admitted to the hospital. Upon entering the emergency room, the actress explained that she can't feel the right side of her body, and boom, the team of doctors and nurses facilitated her somewhere else in a wheeled stretcher. She had many objects inserted into her arms. Of course, they're well aware of how deadly a stroke is and the importance of receiving prompt care. Then, she was evaluated for her speech and movement before being admitted to the hospital's stroke ward. She said that she coped with some lingering symptoms from the stroke for a few months, but she fared fairly well, since she decided to go to the hospital as soon as she could. Now she wants to spread awareness about all the symptoms of a stroke, especially the fact that they can happen at any time to anyone. She is strongly encouraging others to learn more about the symptoms, as it will end up saving so many lives. Hopefully, Perrette's experience of dealing with a stroke would inspire others to take her example and seek medical attention right away if they encounter similar physical symptoms rather than holding out to see what occurs. Moving forward, things haven't been looking too good for her lately. Perrette last made huge headlines back in 2019 when she said that she's terrified of her NCIS co-star, Mark Harmon. She declared that she still has nightmares of him attacking her. She had made the bizarre allegation when she was asked if she'd ever returned to the show, which she fully denied, adding that she has a happy and free new show. The allegations came after Harmon brought his dog on set, who supposedly bit a crew member. According to a report by TMZ, sources said that Harmon body-checked his co-star after Perrette objected to the dog still being on the set, a hockey team term for when one player blocks another with their body. She also posted cryptic tweets right after her last episode of NCIS aired. She implied that she was physically assaulted and bullied. While the decision of her leaving NCIS was purely professional, it seems like there was more to the story. Later, in 2019, she landed a lead role in the CBS show Broke. She was cast as Jackie, a mother and bartender. She starred in the show opposite Jamie Camel and Natasha Leggero. The show lasted for just one season, which consisted of 13 episodes, ultimately getting cancelled in May of 2020. Perrette has retired from acting since her CBS sitcom Broke was cancelled, so it's obvious that the actor had plenty of time to reflect. Finally, how is she reflecting on life? Suffering from a stroke, losing family, and a lot of other scary things one after the other are a lot for a human. Fortunately, it appears that the celebrity has a strong support network and has been working hard. She might need support from co-workers like Michael Weatherly, a former co-star who was recently honored on Polly Perrette's birthday. Since their respective exits from the show, the two CBS stars have remained friendly. Weatherly showed her countless support before the premiere of her series broke. She also has unconditional support from her fans, who instantly flooded her Twitter mentions with love and support following the major health news. She has also turned to helping others and giving back to the community. In February of 2021, 
2022, she joined hands with fellow NCIS actors Michael Weatherly, Diona Reasonover, Rocky Carroll, and Meredith Eaton in February of 2022, as well as other well-known TV personalities to support the Los Angeles Fire Department. Brett tweeted that she and her co-stars are requesting donations for the Los Angeles Fire Department. The donations are being made to supply the crew with necessary supplies. Moving on to other news. First of all, here's everything that you need to know about NCIS Season 20. NCIS is returning to your screens on September 19th as announced by the network. The much-anticipated Season 20 will air on Mondays just as Season 19 did. The official Twitter account of the most-watched CBS show teased the fans with an epic new artwork, asking fans to count the days with them. According to details, the first episode will be titled A Family Matter and will pick up right from the cliffhanger of the previous season's finale. Directed by Twania McKiernan and written by Scott Williams, the special two-hour episode will begin a crossover event that will include NCIS Season 20 and NCIS Hawaii Season 2. Even without the absence of Mark Harmon, the showrunners revealed that the plot explores the team's investigating cases but also sheds light on the personal lives of the agents. NCIS is available to stream on Paramount+. Plus. The series are also found exclusively on the official website of CBS. They publish each episode after they air it. Depending on the viewer's location, the popular series can also be streamed on NBC and Pluto. Happy watching, guys! Next up, Mark Harmon says Gibbs is still alive. After season 18, Harmon prepared to exit the popular show, but soon discovered that CBS might decide not to renew NCIS if he did. Leroy Jethro Gibbs agreed to return in limited episodes for season 19. He left the season after four episodes, after surviving a disastrous attempt on his life. He has not left Alaska as he's found peace there, with the actor saying it's an honest pathway for Gibbs. The character was remembered on the show after his exit through the Leroy Jethro Gibbs College Scholarship Fund. We found that Gibbs set up the fund for his daughter Kelly, who died at a young age. Still, he decided to keep the account open and added finances to it over the years. Gibbs helped families of various agents by peeling off their bills from it occasionally. NCIS Season 20, showrunner T's plan for a fan favorite character. For 15 seasons, Polly Perrette played the role of forensic scientist Abby Shuto until the actress exited the show. Watchers haven't heard anything about Abby since she left, but that might change in Season 20. Showrunner Stephen D. Binder recently spoke to TV Line's fall preview Q&A, where he dished about Abby's potential involvement in the show. He said he wants to subtly start bringing up Abby as he did with Mark Harmon's Gibbs. He wants to feel her presence on the show more, just as the fans wish to. The creator also stated the delay in bringing her up. He clarified that a lot was going on with other elements on the show, and he regrets not doing it sooner. So, can we expect Abby to be mentioned in the upcoming episodes? We are so interested in finding out what she's been up to. So, catch season 20 on your screens on Monday, September 19th. And that's a wrap for this video. What was your reaction to Polly's news? Let us know in the comments below, and make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this. See you in the next one!